What's going on guys? Welcome back to another hunting boot camp. So, just got a turkey and today I'm going to show you how to clean a turkey. So, first things first, we want to save the beard off this. So all you got to do is you grab the base of the beard and you just cut into that fat. There'll be a little, maybe a little flesh there too. Right there. And that, that'll stay like that. You can put some borax or something on that to preserve that. But, that, there's the beard. Next, what we want to do is I want to save the fan off this guy. Night, he's got a nice fan, and you can see how it moves back and forth. There's a little joint in there. So you want to feel around, and you can feel that joint, and you want to grip, make sure you get some of these feathers too. And you just want to cut around that joint, and that's how you get the fan off. So we're just gonna cut in, make sure we get that old joint. And it don't don't worry about if you get too much flesh with it. If you wanna, you know, if you wanna save your fan, you'll have to scrape it off, and there's a whole process for that. But this is just to save the fan for now. And we'll just put this in a garbage bag and freeze it afterwards. But there we go. So from there, we've got a turkey fan. So we got the fan, we got the beard. Some people like to keep the legs. I'm going to in this case because he's got some really nice spurs. Uh, I like to put the put the feet on my fan mounts as well with the beard. So I've just got a bone saw here, and uh, we're just gonna cut right. And you can use a knife too. You just pop it off, but I just like using. Cut right there at that joint. And like that. And there you go. One leg, and the other one's just the same. All right, there we go. Two spurs, a fan, and a beard. Now we get to the meat of the turkey. So I've got my bowl here. This is for what we'll put the meat in. And all you do, just like a duck or a goose, you find that. Turkey, turkey uh, skin is a little thinner, a little easier to skin than ducks and geese. And you just, you know, maybe. There we go. You just pull it apart. So there you can see the breast meat of the turkey. Just like a duck and goose, it's got the, the bone right down the middle. So you're just going to cut on both sides. Get two breasts, just like waterfowl or most other birds, pheasants. Just do that. Try to get as close as we can to the bone. We don't want to waste any meat. There we go. So there is one turkey breast. There we go, two turkey breasts. We're not done, we're almost done, but we're not quite done yet. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the thighs and the legs off these. And I know some people don't like to eat them because they say they're tough, but you just put them in a crock pot. There's a bunch of recipes you can do with them. Uh, but you just trim the skin off around those and you find where that joint is. You just cut down into the meat around that joint and then the joint will pop, pop out just like so. I apologize if you can't see me the best. There's one turkey leg and thigh. We're gonna do the other one now. There you are. Two turkey thighs and legs, two turkey breasts. Now, we still have one more step to do before this bird is totally cleaned. That's what this is for. Now Matt, you're like, 
why do you have just a plastic container? What are we going to do with that? Well, we're going to cut into underneath the sternum here. We're going to get the turkey's guts. Yeah, it doesn't sound the most appealing, I know. But we're going to take them. So like that. Just intestines, heart, lung, all those organs. And we're going to take these and we're just going to put them in here. And what we're going to do with them is this is excellent catfish bait. It's like chicken liver except it stays on the hook a ten, like 10 times better and it stinks a little more especially in the summer but it it stays on the hook it draws them crazy so whatever we can grab we're gonna put in there trying to use as much as we can of these animals so we've got our container of turkey guts for catfish in here in the summer. We've got our bowl of meat, two turkey legs, two turkey thighs, two turkey breasts. We've got our fan, our beard, our legs for whatever tax dirty purposes we want to use. What else can we do? If you're into making your own arrows, you can use these wing feathers for flight feathers. Um, the other feathers you can use for fly tying, decoration, there's a whatever, you know, the only limit is your imagination. But that is how you clean a turkey for decoration, for food, for fish bait. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. It always helps me out. Drop a comment. Let me know what your thoughts were. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay up to date with the latest hunting and fishing exploits as well as more hunting boot camps and cooking videos. And we will catch you out there guys. See ya.